Hi, everybody. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Uh, as you can tell, I am uh, here in my beautiful backyard, and I wanted to share some uh, exercises with you. So to start out, I want to make sure that um, you are only doing what feels comfortable for you and your body. And I also want to let you know that you can potentially have some extra weights, um, or if they're not weights, I do have some weights that I'm going to use for this exercise video, but you could also use what you have in your apartment or available to you. An example, I have some beans here, cans of beans, that adds a little bit of resistance, or you could have potentially some small water bottles, whatever you would like to use that can enhance the exercises for you. Also, make sure that you are well hydrated. I know it's, it's um, very warm weather, and just in general, staying hydrated is important. When you're already feeling a little thirsty, you may be a little hydrated, dehydrated already. So um, maybe having a glass of water before class and maybe after class would be a good idea it can uh, give you a little more energy, lubricate all the joints, uh, actually be a little bit of an energy and mood enhancer, so a lot of good things to staying well hydrated. Okay, so I'm sitting in a chair that doesn't have any armrests, but if you feel more comfortable staying in a chair or being in a chair that has armrests, feel free to do that. This just gives me a little more mobility or a little more room to move my arms, to move my body. And speaking of moving my body, I'm sitting more towards the front of the chair. And the reason why I'm doing that is that I have some clearance between um, my upper body here and the back of the chair so that when I lean back, I can actually feel that bracing feeling in the core. So with this workout, we're going to focus a little bit more on the upper body and the core, but we'll start with a warm up with the feet. So I'm sitting more towards the front of the chair. I'm going to let my arms just dangle to the side and I'm gonna work on posture first by lifting the shoulders, bringing them back and then setting them down. So we're doing everything with a focus on good posture. So think of your ears over your shoulders, over your hips. And during the course of your day, feel free to reset your posture. Um, we tend to do a lot of sitting and we tend to then let our shoulders slump forward and round our back. So again, feel free to reset that posture at any time. So let's go ahead and start with the feet. I've got my tennis shoes and socks on, always good, especially if you get out of the chair to have that stability of having something on your feet. And I'm pressing through the toes and I'm lifting the heels and I'm going to turn so that you can see what I'm doing here with my feet. And by doing that, pressing through the toes and lifting the heels, I'm engaging the calf muscles. So if you hang on to that any length of time, you're going to start feeling that sensation in the calf muscles. And then I'm doing the opposite. I'm going to lower and I'm going to push my heels into the floor and lift the heels and, by, and lift the toes. And I'm feeling that sensation in the front of my lower leg. So let's do that again. Rock onto the toes, lift the heels, feel the sensation in the calf muscles. Rock back onto the heels, lifting the toes, feeling the sensation in the front of the legs. So I'm turning facing you again, and I'm going to do that a little bit quicker, rocking onto the toes and heels, toes and heels. And while I'm doing that, I'm also warming up the ankle joints. So really important for keeping your balance, working on that ankle flexibility. Good. And then I'm going to walk the toes and heels out and back in. So out and back in, good. And then I'm going to lift one leg and I'm going to point and flex. So as I'm doing that, I can start feeling that sensation in the quadriceps. So the top of the leg might get a little bit fatigued as you're doing this. Again, working on ankle mobility as I'm touching down 
in the same spot, toe and heel and toe and heel. Let's do that one more time, toe and heel and other leg. So now lifting, doesn't matter which leg you start with, we're just on the other leg now. Starting to feel a little bit of fatigue creep into the top of the thighs, the quadriceps. Good. And toe. Oh, opposite here. Heel and toe and heel and toe. Good. Okay, and let's go ahead and lift one leg. We're going to work on the knee. So warming up the knee, lifting the leg and extending and bending. Let's do that two more times on one leg. Extend and bend last time. Extend and bend and go to the other leg. Lift, extend and bend and extend and bend. Three more times. We're definitely hearing the birds out here, aren't we? <laughs> And one more time. Good. And let's go ahead and just warm up the toes a little bit more by tapping the toes. And now we're going to tap with the heels. I'm leaning back a little bit, feeling that bracing feeling. I'm going to turn like this. I'm leaning back, bracing myself in the middle. Abdominal muscles, back muscles, tapping down with the heels. And you may actually feel your heart rate going up a little bit by doing that. Okay, let's bring one leg out to the middle, out and to the middle. I'm alternating and tapping to the side, keeping that leg bent and the other leg bent. Good, so one at a time. And for those of you who have done some of my other classes, you know what's coming. We're gonna jump both feet out and in, and out and in. Again, you're only doing what feels comfortable for you. Let's do that one more time and stop, take a deep breath. We're gonna add the arms and do our chair jumping jacks. Here we go. Let's go for five. Here's two, three, and four, and five. Good. Again, take a deep breath. And then let's lift one leg, extend, and from here, let's point and flex, point and flex and lower good let's lift the other leg extend point and flex and point and flex and lower good so we're pretty warmed up here in the ankles the knees hips let's go ahead and remember to scooch a little bit more forward in the front of your chair cross your arms we're working on core so it looks like this i'm leaning back hinging back from the hips feeling for the back of the chair and then slowly coming back up. I'm going to turn so that you can see that a little bit better. I'm leaning back, there's no back to the chair, so I'm gonna imagine that it's right about here. And I'm sitting up. So I'm doing chair sit-ups, that was two. Here's three. I'm continuously inhaling and exhaling. When we brace in the middle like this, it feels like you want to hold your breath, but keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Let's actually do one more for good measure. Leaning back, maybe holding here, and then sitting up. Good. All right. Another core exercise that we can do is to get a little rotation in the upper body as we're leaning back. So again, you're doing what feels comfortable for you. I'm going to lean back, I'm going to hold this position, and I'm going to rotate a little in the upper body by bringing the arms or hands to one side, outside of the hip, to the other side, outside of the hip. Again, just a slight lean back, but I'm bracing myself in the middle, first to one side, then the other. Again, I'm going to turn so that you can see that a little better. Am angled back, turning from one side to the other. Good. Okay. Let's continue by extending the arms out to the side. So you're going to notice here as we do things with our hands, our fingers, that our arms are now our weight. So you may not even need to add any weights when we get to the weight portion and, and I add my weights. So what I'm doing now is warming up the wrists by turning in one direction and then the other. Good. 
So my shoulders are starting to get a little fatigued just by holding my arms out to the side. So this actually breaks up that fatigue a little bit by doing some shoulder touches out to the side. Let's do that out to the front. I'll turn again so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Touching shoulders. And let's do that two more times. Good. And then bring the arms out to the side again. Good. Let's turn. Again, getting that rotation through the upper body. I'm turning, I'm letting my gaze go towards the arm and the hand that's behind me. I'm holding and then coming back to center. And I'll try that on the other side. So a good thing to keep up, especially if you're still driving or anytime you're trying to look over your shoulder. And typically, let's do that one more time, one side is a little bit easier than the other. It's definitely easier for me in this direction than in the other direction. There, it starts to get a little, a little sticky. So feel free to focus on the side that needs a little more work. Good, so we did work through the wrists. Let's go ahead and work through the fingers by opening and stretching out the fingers and closing and open and make a fist and open and make a fist one more time, open and make a fist and maybe shake out the hands. Good. Let's lift and lower the shoulders. So lift the shoulders as if you're trying to touch your shoulders to your ears and then push those shoulders down as if you're you're being weighted down, you're holding on to some heavy weights or something, or gallon jugs. Let's try that again. Lift and lower. Good. One more time. Lift the shoulders and lower. Good. Let's bring the shoulders forward and back, pinching the shoulder blades together. And forward and back. Good. And then let's bring the arms out into what I call goalpost style. So, a 90 degree angle. Let's go ahead and bring those arms back, pinching the shoulder blades together. And then we're bringing the arms in front of the body. So this is what this looks like. Hands and elbows come together in front of the body. Good, and then let's do that again where we bring the shoulder blades, pinch the shoulder blades together as we bring the arms back. So we're working on upper body and posture muscles. And from here, we're going to do some overhead lifts. And two. And three. We're going for five. And four. Good. So warming up and also working on our strength and our endurance here. Good. All right. Let's work on the head and neck. So we're sitting with good posture. We're going to keep our chin level just to start off. This will be our starting point. And then from here, let's go ahead and lean the head to the side. So really focusing on head and neck. Ear towards the shoulder. And if you feel like you need a little bit more to feel that stretching sensation in the side of the neck, feel free to rest your hand on your ear. Good. And also feel free to close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you during this portion. So other side, so ear towards the shoulder. And I, again, can tell this is where I have a little less flexibility when I tilt my head to this side. I'm going to put my hand here on the side of my head just so that I can feel that stretch a little bit more. And I'm actually going to spend uh, an extra second or two here because I can tell I'm not as flexible on this side. Good. And then let's turn the head either to the right or to the left and angle the chin down towards the shoulder and hold. Again, feeling the stretch here through the side of the neck. And then let's turn and then turn to the other side. Again, chin down towards the shoulder. Again, I'm feeling that. It's a little bit more challenging for me to do this on one side. So don't feel like something's wrong. It just tends to be that one side may be more limber or stronger than the other. 
So focus on that side a little bit longer, whatever that side happens to be. Good. And then let's go ahead and take that chin and lower towards the floor. So we're working on the back of the neck here. Take some extra breaths. And then from here, let's go ahead and turn the head to one side, back to the middle, and then to the other, like you're scanning your floor. Good. And then back to neutral. And then gently tilting that head back. Chin is up towards the ceiling, or it happens to be the sky for me. And from here, let's do the same thing. So turning in one direction, back to the middle, turn to the other direction, and back to the middle, and back to neutral. Good. The last thing that we'll do is to circle the head in one direction. So smooth, continuous flow, and then the other direction. Good, trying to keep the upper body still, it's just head and neck. Okay, at this point we should be completely warmed up from toe to head. And this is where I'm going to do some upper body strengthening exercises. So upper body and core using my weights. Again, you can use whatever you feel is available to you or that you want to use to make it a little bit more challenging for you. So I've got my weights and I'm sitting more towards the front of the chair. Again, I can do this with this angle so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm gonna work on um, the big muscles in the back called the, the lats, the latissimus dorsi muscles. And I'm going to lean forward and feel free to do this without any kind of weight and what, and bringing your hands up to chest level and then lowering. So I've hinged forward with a flat back and I am lifting and lowering. This is called a row. And I think that was three. We're going to 10 on this, nice and slow and controlled. Here's five, we're halfway there. And six. And seven. And eight. And feel free to stop if you need to and recover. Take some extra breaths. You can always grab some water. And I believe this is 10. And with this exercise, you could also do alternating. You could alternate one at a time like this. I'm just showing you what your options are here with this row exercise. Good. Let's give, um, give ourselves a little bit of a break here. I'm gonna rest the weights on my legs. I'm just going to lift and lower here, working a little bit on the lower body as I'm giving my upper body a little bit of recovery time. Good. And let's do that one more time on each side. Good. So we did the back, let's work on chest. So we'll do what's called a chest press. So I've got my arms bent at 90 degrees out to the side, palms are facing away from me. I'm going to bring the hands and the elbows in front of the body. We did this in the warm up. Again, no weights required. It's if you want a little bit of added challenge. We're going for two here. After five, we'll take a little recovery break. Here's three, and then we'll do the second set of five. And four, you're inhaling and exhaling continuously. This is challenging because you're keeping those weights up the whole time. Good, let's go ahead and lower those weights down. Lift and lower through the shoulders. Take some extra deep breaths here. Inhaling and exhaling. And then let's work on that second set of five. So again, arms are out to the side. Keep those elbows lifted so um, arms are parallel to the floor, except you're bending here at 90 degrees, and bringing those hands and elbows in front of the body. And they don't have to come together. Uh, you're doing this based on your flexibility through your upper body. That was two. 
And again, we're going to five. Here's three, almost done. And four. Good, nice and slow and controlled. And here's five. Whew, I can definitely feel that in the shoulders. Let's go ahead and just uh, recover here. Roll those shoulders back, roll them forward. It's kind of hard to do, I've got the weights in my hands. But let's work a little bit on core. That'll be a little bit of a break from the shoulders and the upper body. I'm going to lean back and we're going to use the weights to work on core just like we did in the warm-up, doing this rotation. So I'm bracing myself in the middle as I'm leaning back slightly, bringing the weights from one side to the other. So this is what that looks like. So I'm not sitting straight up. I'm bracing myself in the middle as I'm leaning back and I'm rotating from one side to the other. Good, just letting those shoulders recover. Good, and one more to each side. Good. Okay, so we did, we worked on back, we worked on chest. Let's work on shoulders, biceps and triceps, and then we'll be done. So again, sitting with good posture, more in the front of the chair. And I'm starting with my arms hanging down, palms facing away from me. I'm going to lift the weights up and hold lower. I'm going to bring the weights out to the side. So working on the front of the shoulder, the side of the shoulder, and lowering. And then I'm bringing the arms straight back, working on the back of the shoulder. Good. Let's try that again. Lifting the weights out in front. Arms are parallel. Palms facing down. Then I turn so that palms are facing each other. I bring the weights out to the side, working the side of the shoulder, and I'm lowering. And now I'll work on the back of the shoulder. So I'm isolating the three different parts of the shoulder. So really working on our shoulder strength. Let's do that one more time. We're lifting out in front. We're holding, slowly lowering, inhaling and exhaling the whole time. No holding your breath. It's tempting as you're lifting the weights out to the side to hold your breath and lower. But try to focus on that regular breathing and lift and lower to the back. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and lift and lower the shoulders and take some deeper breaths. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, good. Let's again take a little break by resting the weights or resting your hands on the knees or close to the knees. And let's bring one leg out to the side and then the other. Good. So working a little bit with the lower body as we let the upper body recover. So we did the back, the lats. We did the chest, the front. We did the shoulders. And now we'll work on smaller muscles still. We'll work on the biceps and triceps. So the front of the upper arm and then the back of the upper arm. Let's work on biceps in a variety of ways. I'll show you a few ways um, depending on how you would like to do this. So you can start with your arms hanging down, elbows to the side, and lifting the weights or your arms up towards the shoulders. You can also do this with the arms out in front and then bring those weights into the shoulders. That is definitely a little more challenging because you're fighting gravity the whole time. So let's work on 10 like this. So here's three. So sitting with good posture, you're deciding on where you want to have those arms at a starting point, either starting with the arms hanging down or with the arms parallel to the floor. And I think I've lost count. I think this is seven though. So nice and slow and controlled. It could be you have weights, it could be that you don't. Whatever you feel comfortable doing. I'm calling this one nine and then this one 10. Good, again, let's recover a little bit by letting the arms hang to the side. And I've got, um, I'm still holding onto the weights. 
I'm again just lifting and lowering through the shoulders. Good. We've got triceps left to do. Let's go ahead and bring the chin down. Take a deeper breath. And then gently lift the chin up. Again, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Let's tilt the head to the side. Good. And tilt to the other side. Excellent. Let's do our last exercise, and that is to work the back of the upper arm. And what we're going to do is, again, be in that forward leaning or hinging forward from the hips position. We started with this row exercise. This time your arms will be in the same position. You're going to tuck the elbows into the side, and from here you're extending the arms back and then bending. So try to keep the elbow in place as you bring, you extend the arms back. So I think I can probably show you better with this side here. So what I've done is I've lifted the arm, tucked my elbow into the side, and I'm extending and bending, recovering. So this is challenging when you bring that arm back, especially under weight. And we're going to call this one four. And feel free to do this with both arms. I'm just demonstrating here with one. It's easier for you to see here. So that was five. I'm going to continue with five more. I'm in that row position, leaning forward, tucking the elbows. We'll do five more. Here we go. One. And inhaling, exhaling the whole time. Two. And three. And four. Good. Last one is five. And recover. Let's go ahead and put the weights down. We've been holding on to those for a long time. And let's do a little recovery stretch. So again, I'm sitting more towards the front of the chair. Do that over here. I'm extending my legs. And from sitting, the back of the legs, the hamstrings and into the glutes tend to get pretty tight. So let's hinge forward. And just from hinging forward, you'll feel that stretch come into the low back, into the glutes, and into the hamstrings. So let's just sit here for a little bit. Inhale, exhale. And when we're stretching, we never want to feel discomfort. It should feel like it, it's, it's, a, it's a positive sensation. When you get into an area where you feel like, oh, that's just too much, back off and hold there. And then maybe fully recover and then try it again. And from here, we could add a little something with the upper body. If you feel comfortable reaching with both hands, it could be that you're reaching to your thighs your knees, your shins, whatever is within reach for you, or to your toes. So it all depends on your flexibility and what feels comfortable for you. Good. And let's take a few more deep breaths. Inhaling, exhaling, maybe working through the fingers and the wrists. Maybe interlacing the fingers or holding onto a wrist. Let's go ahead and roll those shoulders forward and stretch out that upper back. Good. And then let's take it up, either holding onto the elbows or even reaching up, widening your stance a little bit, and then leaning to the side, a little side body stretch, holding, and to the other side. Side body stretch, and I think we're done for today.